and welcome. In today's video, we're going to talk Daniel Ricciardo and already has received a warning by the top man, Helmut Marko. His performances must improve. Daniel Ricciardo touted to replace Sergio Perez at Red Bull for 2025. It has not started well for the Australian. Um, yeah, qualified 14th in both races, finished 13th at Bahrain and a lonely 16th at Saudi Arabia. Daniel Ricciardo's start to the season has not been good. And um, yeah, it's just the pressure's on. Pressure's on for both drivers. Marco's come out, said Yuki's good in qualifying, but he believes that they're burning through the tyres in the race, and that's why they're not ending up in the points. But yeah, the pressure is on. He was sat by McLaren. He's got a point to prove. Um, but yeah, many people think Daniel Ricciardo's done. Many people think he can get back to his best. Um, yeah, there's big question marks over Daniel Ricciardo. Um, yeah, let's be real. If he can't beat Yuki Tsunoda, then like he's, he can't continue. I mean, maybe it was a mistake coming back. Liam Lawson should have had the seat, but yet again, another old driver clinging on to something that maybe has gone. Eddie Jordan has come out and said his performance is not there. Daniel Ricciardo, he needs a big response. And what better way to respond to the critics? A poor start to the season in 2024. His home race is next. And that has got to give him some encouragement, some boost. And probably a better weekend. Because it's not starting well. Qualifying 14th finished 13th and 16th. He's been out-qualified and out-raced by Yuki Tsunoda. Yuki's had his number. And they had to, at Bahrain, they had to literally give Daniel team orders just so he finished ahead. It's been poor. Really poor. He looked a uh, shadow of his Red Bull self at McLaren. That's why they sacked him. He lives off that Monza win. But, yeah, I don't know. He, I think he... It was a mistake coming back for Daniel Ricciardo. And now Marco's on at him. The top man. A known brutal. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. Gasly, Albon, Kvyat. They've all fell at the wayside. Yeah. So, it, what's going to happen? We've got to see a response by Daniel Ricciardo. I mean, you've got ambitions and aspirations to get back to Red Bull. Yet, you can't even beat your teammate. So, yeah. Yuki's done a great job. Can he keep it up? Because at the minute, Yuki's going to get the seat over Ricardo if you were given they gave it anyone. But to be fair, Sergio has started the season strongly. So yeah, there's a lot of stake at both. A lot on the line. Ricardo wants to get back to Red Bull. Yuki wants to put his name out there. He's improved. He's a better driver. So yeah. The Red Bull seat at the minute looks far away. He needs to concentrate on one thing, and that's getting his weekend sorted. Um, yeah. Uh, I think it was a huge mistake, Lawson, not getting the drive. Um, but yeah, question marks. Is he done in Formula 1? Where's the performance? He's a funny man. He's a DR, uh, drive to survive, lovey, showman. Always got a smile on his face. Always pissing around. But yeah. Has he got the minerals to stand up and be counted? Because, yeah, since he came back, it's not really been good, has it? I mean, let's be real. He came back and then he got injured at Zamvort. He had a good Mexico. But, um, yeah, we need to see. He's got to g give standout performances. And, yeah, already received a warning by Marco that he must improve. And his home race is the perfect place to respond. So, yeah, he's got many fans out there. I mean, he's a funny guy. He's a great personality for the sport. Big smile. But this is a results-based business. And, yeah, I covered a video on racing balls. They've been my biggest disappointment. But, yeah, um, it's been a shambles. They haven't scored any points. And Ricardo's performance has not been good. It's not been good. Out-qualified and out-raced, really, in both. Only he goes on record that he won at Bahrain, but he didn't really. 
Um, yeah, big questions over Daniel Ricciardo. Are we going to see a response in Australia? Or are we going to see the same Ricciardo that got sat by McLaren? The rate he's going at the minute, Liam Lawson... He's waiting, he's waiting. They already know what Liam Lawson can do. He's come in for Ricardo. He scored points at Singapore. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Are we going to see a replacement mid-season? Or is Ricardo going to step up and be counted and show us why he's won races? Support's been insane recently. Views, likes, lots of comments, new people on board. That's what it's all about. We all have our opinions on Formula 1. Comment down below, we'll always reply. Adios.